Hi everyone, this is William from the Headphone Experience. I'm here tonight with a new sort of, uh, this isn't really a review, what it is, is I decided to put together a little short series of videos that will um, help people to decide on what sort of equipment they want and make the decision a little bit easier because I know that when a person's about to spend a lot of money on a headphone or an amp or a DAC or whatever, there's a lot of choices out there. And these um, four little videos I'm going to do here are going to be to help you decide which direction to go with each of those items. So um, this first video is going to be um, open back headphone or closed back, the advantages and disadvantages of each. Then I'm going to do a second video that's going to be dynamic driver versus planar magnetic driver headphones, the advantages and the disadvantages. And then I'm going to do a video that is about uh, headphone amps, solid state versus tubes. And then a video about DACs, and it's going to be uh, Delta Sigma chip DACs versus R2R ladder DACs. So, uh, this is the first of the four, and I'm going to try to keep these pretty short, and these are just kind of uh, on the side of my regular reviews, and I know um, I've only got one review out in the last month. I've been really busy with work. It's been my busy season, but I'm going to try to get back in, uh, get some videos done, and my regular reviews, and uh, then try to throw these in between. So anyway... Uh, this is which do you want, which is better for you, an open back headphone or a closed back. And each has its own advantages and disadvantages. And the two headphones I'm going to use for my video tonight, uh, not the two in the picture, the two in the picture are the Hi-Fi Man Sundara and the Meza 99 Classic. But uh, tonight for my video I'm going to use the Hi-Fi Man Edition XS and as my open back headphone and as a closed back headphone the LSA HP2 Ultra. So I'm going to start with the open back and as you can see the open back headphone has a large grill on it and basically between the back of the driver and the outside of the headphone this is open. That's um, The sound waves can go right through that and that's the difference in open back headphone the sound waves are not contained inside the headphone. They're going to travel out of the headphone where a closed back headphone has a solid back on it which is going to contain the sound waves off of the back of the driver inside the headphone. So um, I'm going to start with this one, the Edition XS. Very popular headphone from Hi-Fi Man. Sells for about I think $499 right now. Okay, the advantages of a open back headphone. The biggest advantage and the main reason open back headphones are a lot more popular than closed back is the larger sound stage. You get um, in almost all cases, and there's exception to all of these, um, all of these reasons I'm giving you. If you look hard enough, you can probably find a headphone that defies uh, the standard or the normal, but in most cases these are true and these are based on my four years now is, um, of doing headphone reviews. So in most cases, not every case, in most cases you're going to have a larger sound stage with the open back headphone. You're going to have more width, you're going to have more depth, and you're probably going to have more height. It's just a larger you feel like you're in a larger room or maybe even outside. It's just the music has a lot more space and depth to it and things just sound like they're coming from further away. And uh, that's referred to as sound stage and with an open back headphone you're almost always going to get a larger sound stage. Um, and that's because of the sound waves not reflecting off of the back of the headphone and back in. Um, like I said, you get deeper, you get mostly wider. Um, another advantage in open back is they're usually a little bit lighter than the closed back alternatives. Not a whole lot of difference, but they can be lighter. And in most cases, if a company makes this, um, 
a pretty much the same headphone in either an open back or closed back choice. Usually the open back is a little less expensive, especially if they're using wood cups or something. There's just, you know, a little more material involved in all that. So the open backs, I'll give you an example, like uh, the Sennheiser HD 800, I think sells for about $16.99 and they made the HD um, 820 whatever the closed back version and it does use glass on the outside but it's like several hundred dollars more it's like I think it was originally like eight hundred dollars more and um, that's not always the case but most times when a company makes it a, a headphone in both closed and open the closed back is a little more expensive the disadvantages of um, the open back is you have absolutely no isolation and by that, what I mean is they do not keep any outside sounds out. When I put these on, I hear everything in the room the same as if I didn't have them on. It doesn't block out any outside noise at all. And then the bad part is it doesn't keep the sound in either. Your music will escape from this headphone and everyone around you will hear it. So it's not good to use, you know, like if you're on the bus or whatever, you're going to hear all the outside noises and everyone around you is going to hear your music. And um, that can be a bad thing at home too, you know. I mean, you know, if you want to listen to your headphones with someone else in the room, they're going to hear that. And it's usually just that all they're going to hear is the high frequencies, not the bass. And it's pretty annoying to hear music that way. So, you know, if there's other people around in the house, you're probably not going to be able to use an open back without disturbing them. Um, the other disadvantages are open backs tend to have less sub bass extension. It's not always the case, but in most cases, open back headphones just don't go real deep into the sub bass, and they usually don't have a lot of slam or punch in the mid bass. There are exceptions, there are a few open back headphones with very good bass. Um, the headphone I just reviewed um, less than two weeks ago, the ZMF Atrium, has very good extension into the sub bass and good slam in the mid bass, uh, good weight to it. And it is an open back, that, but that is the exception. Um, another one I can think of, Spiritrino makes some open back headphones with an outstanding bass, real deep sub bass, a lot of punch, but usually in most cases an open back headphone is going to have less extension into the sub bass and less weight to the mid bass. So um, let's talk about closed back headphones. Like I pointed out earlier, they have a solid back. They usually um, do have a small hole or port at some place on them. This one here, you can see, it's just got this tiny little port there. Um, that's usually, it's kind of like a ported speaker. It lets the pressure off. Um, it unseals the cabinet that, you know, so the, um, the driver can move easier without creating air pressure inside. So they usually have a port of some sort, but are basically closed. The advantage to closed back headphones, and this is the huge advantage, and this is why so many people choose a closed back headphone, is isolation. And that works both ways. Um, that works if I put this on, this isolates a lot of outside sound from coming in. I mean, not absolutely everything, but it substantially cuts down on the outside sound that's coming in. So if I'm in a room with other people, people are talking or there's noise, you know, an air conditioner, TV on, whatever, you're going to get a lot more isolation from outside noise with a closed back and the other big advantage is um, the isolation works the other way. It holds the music inside your headphone. And yeah, if you listen to it really loud, people still might hear it, but it's not going to be near as loud as an open back and it's not going to travel near as far. So you're not going to bother people 20 feet away listening to your closed back headphone unless you're listening to it at extreme volume. So they do a very good job of holding the sound in. So, um, you know, it just makes it a lot more private. It makes it so you can listen to music with other people around without disturbing them 
or you can listen to your music without the interference of other, you know, little noises. Like I said, you know, the blower on the air conditioner or whatever. Things that, you know, can distract a little bit from uh, the sound. I mean, it just gives you your own private little listening room where, you know, you can kind of get away from the rest of the world. The other advantage, a big advantage to closed back headphones is they usually have better sub bass extension. Not always the case, but in most cases, yes. And they usually have more weight to the mid bass, more punch. Um, that's just because of uh, the design. The closed in, you know, um, ear cup behind the speaker just holds the bass in and doesn't let it escape and, you know, kind of, um, you know, it's like having speakers in a room where the sound bounces off the walls behind the speakers and brings more bass to you. It works sort of the same way. So um, better bass extension, more punch. There are uh, some disadvantages to the um, closed back headphone and the biggest one would be in most cases you're going to get a smaller sound stage. You're going to have less width, less depth, less height. It's just going to be more of an intimate experience. A small, like being in a smaller room, you know, there's going to be less distance to the uh, sounds you're hearing. And because of the smaller sound stage, everything's going to sound a little closer together, a little less separation between your instruments. Um, sometimes the uh, closed backs can be a little bit heavier because of the, you know, if it has a wooden back on the cup or whatever, that can add a little weight. Usually not a huge difference. And uh, sometimes it can be a little more expensive. But um, so this, um, I hope that helps you. I hope it, it's mostly going to depend on your listening environment. You know, if you have a quiet place where you can go be alone, listen to your headphones w without other noises disturbing you or the um, disturbing other people, an open back headphone is great. They usually, most people usually prefer the sound of the open back. But if you're going to use this a portable device, be around other people. If you don't have a quiet, perfectly quiet place to listen to or there are other people in your home, that don't want to hear your music, a closed back is going to be the way to go. So um, that's part one of this little series. Part two is going to be um, about dynamic drivers versus planar magnetic drivers and headphones and which is probably the best for you. So um, I thank you for watching my video. I hope this helped you. Please give me a thumbs up if it did. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And please join us over at the Headphone Experience on Facebook. We're up to over 17,000 members. So uh, once again, thanks for watching my video.